play is different when you're the one behind the sticks and on stream with that camera right. pointed at you. Dude, being on, I feel like this is a lot of people's first experience being on stream or being on stage, right? Yeah, and, and it, it could be intimidating too, it could be a little nervous. It's very intimidating. <laughs> Props to all these players, man. We got a button check right now. Button check right now. And we got a Lucas on the stage. Yeah. Then this character was banned. Oh my, you know, I've been seeing that <laughs> meme everywhere about PK Freeze and stuff like that. And um, I actually have have not watched enough Lucas to, yeah. to see, like, what the anger is all about. <laughs> you just, dude, you can get KO'd at, like, 40%. Yeah, and then it, the way it KOs is that you just fly off the stage oh, while yeah, you're frozen. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, you can't get out. Right. It's, it's very it's it, hard. It, it's funny. I think it's all right. Lucas is cool. And then we've got Ike, of course. Neutral Air King. Yeah, the... The character that MKLeo won with at right. Smash Conference United. Right. I know right. everybody was super hyped to see Ike, their man, take that tournament. Mm -hmm. And yeah, nothing, nothing less sure from a, from a character that fights for his friends. But aside from that, the Nair plane that this character has, Nair into literally any Uncle area. Bernie. So consistent Uncle and Bernie. such a great Play tool to Bernie. use oh, yeah. to catch characters, especially characters like Lucas, that yeah. is going to be lingering around in the air a lot to jump and do a lot of his specials and aerials. Yeah, and if you have a, if you're in the air long enough, that neutral hits behind you too. So it's actually just a very solid offensive and defensive option. Yeah, yeah. That aim versus Steezy. Okay, staying right outside the, the hitbox of the smash. Actually, really good spacing from this Lucas so far, I'm already seeing. Right yeah. outside the sword hitbox, and then punishing as soon as uh, Ike finishes his movement. Yeah, and the cross up on shield using Nair, uh, so that way he can prevent himself from getting punished and landing in front of that aim shield. Right, right. Ooh, parry into the jabs. I like it. Forward smash, catch that aim. Oh, st oh my god. Damn. Yeah, that fair catching him pretty short and, you know, understanding that he was forced to recover horizontally there. Right, yeah. Really good read on the on the recovery. This Lucas is popping off already. Yeah, you can understand right now. Getting oh. the jab up, it's a forward smash. Steezy! Steezy! Steezy, why are you doing this to him? 88% already, 100% almost off the top. Okay. I, I hadn't seen too much of Lucas before of this. But Lucas can hit hard. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Lucas Lucas could be quite intimidating too because well, you know once he gets um that one move started, you could be taken easily so much percent. Yeah, and then if you get one read off stage, that's your that's your stock. Okay. So you're gonna get another oh great air dodge from the Ike to grab the ledge. Let's see another day. Oh Yo, this Lucas is really intimidating and taking two stocks already! Yeah, Nick, we, we're, we're gonna see a three stock on stream already? Maybe. Okay, first hit. Air dodges back onto the stage. A lot of really smart air dodges from the Lucas. The momentum is heavily on Lucas's side. Yeah, you can see he's just, you know, staying patient. A lot of forward smashes coming from him, too. Right. Yep. Okay, nice. Up air off the top. I will take that first stock. He is at 50%, <laughs> but we've seen Ike come back from crazier deficits. So right. he tried to start off with a Nair, but getting punished for it. Steezy just constantly spacing himself out, as you mentioned. He's doing a really good job at just preventing himself from getting hit by that Nair. Yeah. Oh, and he gets the back here. Okay. Yeah, it, it feels like Ike is actually having a hard time getting a lot of these connections, because Lucas is just staying right outside that sword link. And Lucas is pretty fast with the aerials, so then the punish just comes out right away. Oh, oh my, forcing him my to God. use side B to get back onto the stage and having enough time to react yeah. to where he was going to be and getting the up smash. Honestly, that was very smart with the, the, the PK freeze that he did off stage. Yeah, to force him, him to force him that high recovery. But even at the same time, like, that aim could have actually done the side B to get through the ledge and actually land in the middle of the stage to avoid that up smash. Right. But unfortunately, he was unable to charge a side B enough to gain that extra distance. Right, right. Man, that is a decisive game victory from the Lucas. Yeah, feeling pretty strong here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to see a character switch. Okay, still, still staying with like... All right, going into game two. Yeah, and I believe this Lucas is from the Bay Area in California, so okay. um, no stranger here okay. to the community. Feeling pretty confident. Using the PK fire already opening up with Nair. Oh, yeah. 
The, it, it feels like Lucas has a really good understanding of where Ike wants to be. Like, he did the PK fire again, preemptively seeing that Ike is going to fall through the platform with an aerial. Yep. Especially that Nair. Those right. Ikes really like to go for the Nair, getting the down tilt, and CZ DIing away. Now directional air dodging behind him. I feel like he's getting hit a lot more, um, specifically because he's just trying to play a little bit more defensively around Fat Aim, but oh, getting the forward smash, reaching above that platform here on Pokemon Stadium. I like it. I like the way that he got um, a lot of that string started is by doing a down tilt, which went underneath one of Lucas's aerials. So I think if he's trying to threaten that kind of... Uh, lower angled attack that could work out really well for him versus Lucas. Yeah, we're talking about the damage output that CZ was putting on, but Ike in general also does a pretty good job at racking up that extra percent necessary. He hits like a tank. Oh, for See sure. these Nairs coming out. It's like trying to catch him with the up air, but because he was jumping so much, CZ was able to punish him with the up smash. Yeah, really good recognition seeing that he's just going to keep aerialing on the shield like that. Up smash almost gets the KO. Up throw won't do it either. Not quite yet. And I'm going for um, dancing off of that platform to get that back here. Gets a grab here, taking Steezy off stage. And I like what I'm seeing from that aim being a lot more consistent in his spacing and his um, aerial tools. For sure, for sure. Okay, content to go back to center stage. And he's playing so well in this game too. He's got a commanding lead. He's, he's definitely looks like a completely different game than what we saw that first game. Yeah. Steezy having to find his footing back. You see he's playing very defensive with that double roll on the platform, possibly trying to punish Fat Aim's landing, but unfortunately unable to find his way in as Fat Aim is just throwing out these Nair hitbox. But oh my, he almost jumped into that forward smash vision. Yeah, that would have been big. It would have definitely not killed yet, but it would have put him in a pretty bad position as he had used his jump there. For sure, for sure. Oh, tries for the PK freeze. Just rolls onto the ledge, doesn't get hit by it. Oh, flips him. Yeah. But he's able to make it back, getting that Nair into back air. Great DI, though, coming oh, from Steezy. And oh, oh, he actually tried to contest no. him. He actually oh, tried to contest him. Oh, oh, oh no. I, you know what? I, I respect the attempt. He was like, I'm going to take my chance and not recover low, and instead try to hit him out of it. Oh, but he was just God. too a little too far away. Oh for that fair to connect. Oh my god, he hit him with the, you shall not pass! <laughs> you shall not pass! Fat Aim's not out of the game yet, man. <laughs> you, you see it. Damn. That was wild. Yeah, that was a great turnaround in that game too, compared to what we saw in that game one coming from Fat Aim. Mm -hmm. um, consistently getting his arrows a lot more often that game, and I feel like Steezy was just off from his spacing compared to what we saw game one, and oh boy, Castle Siege. Oh. This is interesting. I'm actually interested to see how both these characters work on the stage, specifically how um, Ike, he could g get these platforms taken care of with his large hitboxes consistently being above that platform and underneath the platform, right. and Lucas using that slant there to um, Kind of mix up as a oh my, and I like that the tether avoiding yeah. getting hit by the neutral B, something that could have actually saved them in that first, oh uh, sorry, that second game. Yeah, at the, he's he's definitely adapted, and it, it feels like a, a lot of these neutral B uh, edge guards could be avoided, but in just that precarious last stock situation, you, you you don't have like the the it's hard to make like the best decisions right on the fly when so much is on it's the happening. line. Yeah, that we try to do. Um, Man, when, when Ike does like a neutral air and drifts in and out, it covers yeah. like a third of the Literally stage. Literally, I was gonna mention like that's that's why also the stage, um, Castle Siege, you know, I yeah. I, I getting that power up, that home that home power up, but yeah. um, using these platforms to, as a way to just cover so much space in general with this mm -hmm. a large nair hitbox that you were talking about. For sure. Getting that up tilt, trying to get the up air. Yeah. And just Cece's just trying to land now. Yeah. Um, what I could be doing is seeing that the air dodgers are coming out right away after these up tilts. And then, again, the air dodgers are coming out so quickly from Lucas that he could start reading them and get a huge punish off of that. Yeah, now that aim actually above CZ, allowing CZ to get stage control and uh, more momentum, but I like that directional air dodge down by the platform. But oh my goodness, trying to mix him up, using that recovery up B uh, by the ledge as an active hitbox, gets the Nair into nice. up air. Nice. Oh, and the top coming oh, out. Oh, three stocks to one, this Ike is feeling himself. So he's constantly just spacing himself out with an air and fair. I like that the fair coming out, yep. I like the neutral that he's deploying now too. Like he's he's doing a lot of empty hops like that. Yes. Since he's been threatening. Oh, he gets the spike, and because he has three stocks, he has nothing to lose. And he also